Today we're going to look at question 1f of the 2017 MAT exam. We are shown a unit circle and told that each point on the circle has coordinates cosine of x in the x direction and sine of x in the y direction for some value of x. We are asked to deduce which of the five arcs on the circle correspond to the inequality tan of x is strictly less than cosine of x, which is strictly less than sine of x. So how do we do this? I've drawn out the graphs of sine of x and cosine of x. These will be helpful later on. I've also drawn a unit circle, but instead of thinking the circle as a set of Cartesian coordinates, we're going to think of each point as a rotation by x degrees around the positive x-axis. So we'll start at 0, go to pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then up at 2 pi. This is a system called polar coordinates. It links directly with these trigonometric functions, and it makes working of circles a lot easier. The inequality we're given is tan of x is less than cosine of x, which is less than sine of x. If we use the identity that tan of x is the ratio of sine of x over cosine of x, this inequality is equivalent to saying that sine of x over cosine of x is less than cosine of x, which is less than sine of x. Now let's suppose that sine of x is negative. So if sine of x is less than zero, then by our inequality, this would force cosine of x to also be less than zero because cosine of x is less than sine of x. So then cosine of x is also less than zero. But then tan of x, which is the ratio of sine of x over cosine of x, and if these are both negative, this would force tan of x to be positive. But this is a contradiction because tan of x is less than cosine of x, which we've said is less than zero. So this can't be true. Therefore, sine of x has got to be non-negative, i.e. greater than or equal to zero. So if you look at our graph, sine of x being greater than or equal to zero corresponds to x being in the range between zero and pi. So right here, x has got to be between zero and pi. From this, we can work out that the only allowable arcs are going to be in the top half of the circle because x is between zero and pi. If we look back at the question, we can see that we can rule out answers D and E immediately, as these are on the bottom half of the circle. So now we've only got three answers to deal with. Now let's suppose cosine of x is positive. So if 0 is less than cosine of x, which we know is less than sine of x, then we can divide through by cosine of x. As it's greater than 0, it's not going to change the sign of the inequality. So then we get that 1 is less than sine of x over cosine of x. And we know this equals tan. But cosine of x is always less than or equal to 1, no matter what. So then we get that tan of x is greater than cosine of x. But this is another contradiction. So this can't be true. That means that cosine of x must be negative. So therefore, cosine of x is less than or equal to zero. If you look at the graph of cosine of x, we see that it's less than or equal to zero only when x is between pi over two and three pi over two. So in this range right here. If we combine this condition with the one we had earlier, we see that the only allowable values of x are ones between pi over two and pi. This corresponds to the top left side of the circle. This means that the only possible arcs allowed would be ones in the top left quadrants, so right here. Looking back at the question, we see that the only possible answer is C. So that's how you answer question 1F. Quite a difficult question, but if you work for it logically step by step, then it becomes a lot easier.